I guess, part of your IBS. Which is that. Uh, all I can say is, do your best. Try to relax. The shaking hand it can, could be another problem. Could be another problem. But uh, if you have family members around who can do it, then they can, of course. You said your mother's very good. They can help you. And uh, but again, we'll just go over it real quick for you one more time. You said uh, here. You said uh, at the end. You said on your first video of getting started, you made it look really simple and quick. Uh, okay, I'll go over a little bit slower. What I'm talking about by finding your east, I mean finding your stream length. You have to find where it starts to get active. Some people do it from the top, some people do it from the bottom, some people do it over a compass, finding magnetic north. But I would suggest just use your palm, real simple. Okay? Breaking east-west flux, there's 14.7 pounds of gravity per square inch. Right now in your hand, that's like, what is that, 300 odd uh, pounds? We're just used to it, it's called gravity. And you see that like when the shuttle takes off, you can do about 4,000 miles an hour until it gets out of the atmosphere, the 14.7 pounds. And think of like, what, 13,000 miles an hour? So we need to break this thing that we're used to right now. We're used to this thing pushing on us from all sides. Okay? So we're going to go up, and as we go up, we're going to slowly kick it up, you know, move it a little bit, breaking the east west flux. We need to go just a couple inches. The string length will probably be about an inch and a half up, more or less. Okay? So watch. Let me find my string length. Okay? Actually, I don't know if you noticed, uh, Mike, that my hand was also shaking a little bit. Uh, I have a little similar thing going on, so, uh, you know, I understand it, it is a little harder, but you just try and you practice. Try and you practice. And you just ask, you know, is everything going to be all right? Okay. And I know you'll get an answer. So this is my thing right about here. It's about an inch, inch and a half. Okay. If you need any more help, you know, just please ask. I saw the pinch on you uh, since. You know, I want to go buy one. I see them all the time. You know, they're very inexpensive. I've never used them. I, I was always blessed to have all these great pendulums around that, uh, for me, work really good. But I will buy one, and I'll try to see. But I did see your pendulums. And uh, the chain, again, I've never tried those. But, uh, you know, I use a string, not a chain. And I don't use a crystal on the end, even though I do have some that do have crystals on the end. So, like this, but they don't have a big bulky chain. All right. All I can say is practice, 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 and go over the first, I mean the second video, and then go over the charts. Okay. Now we're going to get into this so everybody can really enjoy this. What time are we at right now? Okay. What we'll do, okay, let's go ahead and read the letter, and here's what the letter says. Uh, okay, let me see. Where are we at? Right here. Okay. I've watched all videos all over the internet for how to use the pendulum for dowsing. I saw people do it in front of me. My doctor used it to treat me. And even my mom and my sister bought two pendulums and they were great for them. But when I take the pendulum, it's very slow in response and when it does move, it is very weak. The movement not reliable. Okay, we already pretty much covered all that. Okay, I am currently suffering from with irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. So this is very important for me. I really need to check any food I'm about to eat before eating because I don't know what causes me the pain. And then uh, she says, this is very important to me. Okay. We've had a few correspondents. Okay. Irritable bowel syndrome. If I can remember a little bit from my knowledge, I have you know a pretty good basic knowledge and we're going to get into the importance of that in a minute. Okay, but let me get into just so you can... No, aerial bowel syndrome is the basics. It's when you're, uh, the muscles and the contractions in your intestines are not working properly. When your food goes through, it's supposed to, you know, through the 32 miles there, kind of has a crimping effect, and the food is able to shimmy through all the way, do, 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 up around, down, and down, and out your colon. Uh, so what happens then is they have built up mucus, uh, the, uh, uh, the stuff that's supposed to be the waste is kind of backing up a little bit. This causes diarrhea, constipation can cause what's called fermentation because you have waste matter and it kind of so it creates what we call bloating. You'll have more gas, you'll have bloating can be very intense. I've actually had uh, similar things before. Uh, and uh, 
and it, and it uh, causes the, the intestines to become very sensitive to certain foods, uh, stress, of course, uh, you know, all, all that. And you'll get into the importance why I'm bringing all this up. Please follow along. Okay, and so you got a general idea. This is a, what we call a chronic disease. It's not terminal disease. It's not a, a, a flu or cold. It's a, a disease that you'll probably have to deal with most of his life. So he wants to know how to test his food. Okay, I'm gonna, we're going to start with that, but we're going to get into the whole thing of how, uh, let's see how much time we have right now. Okay, we have three more minutes. What I want to do is get into the understanding of how important it is, we talked about during the charts, to understand parameters when, you, uh, when you're checking your vitamins or your uh, herbs. In the international units, the uh, milligrams and micrograms. Okay, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, my particular thing in pins and dots, of course, as I'm sure you can tell, I'm into uh, health, uh, uh, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. Like, that's what I really enjoy doing. So what I, we, we talked about the yes-no format. Okay. We've talked about uh, the understanding of charts and rulers and things of that nature and lists. But what I want you to understand is to be really good at this, you need to understand, for instance, the organs. Okay. Understanding where the kidneys are and the, you know, the liver, and understanding the heart. Okay. Understanding where all that is. Understanding to the ability you can understand is going to be better. Understanding the systems, how they work, how you know the blood leaves the heart after being oxidated in the lungs, okay, and the arteries going to the, the over three billion cells, you, you know, into the capillaries, and the veins, everything coming back, and lymphatic system running along with the toxins. I'm not showing this to show you my, you know, flexing my knowledge about it, but to understand these things is important, and to understand remedies, you know, understand the different herbs, understand the different practice of reflexology, acupuncture, whatever it may be, meditation, understanding, uh, understanding these things. What's the importance? So when you... When you, or, you know, and, and understanding the difference between cancer and understanding a cell, you know, understanding the different brains. The more you understand the body, understanding how the body works, how it brings in light to the chakras, activates the endocrine system, which, which activates hormone release in the bloodstream, all this stuff will make you better, okay? So when you, you via the yes-no format and your basic understanding of certain things, uh, as we talked a little bit in the chakra videos about uh, understanding, uh, Human traits, you know, when you're dealing with a patient, understanding denial, understanding, of, you know, understanding, of, understanding how to be compassionate. All these things will make you a great dowser, a great diviner, a great human being. So what we're going to do, that's the little talk, and, uh, and you know, I guess going on and on about, some, you know, understanding, you know, if you're going to test your food, it, 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 it'd be nice to, to understand what a protein is. What a carbohydrate is, the difference between a simple and a complex. Complex like pasta. It lasts longer, it has a longer duration to a simple one like raw sugar, raw fl I mean a white sugar, white flour, which, which has a you know, really big boost and then back down. And, you know, marathon runners like a complex. So see, you get the point, so when you're dousing, you just, it's all right to say yes, no, you know, is this good or not? But to really, the more you understand, the more precise your readings will be. So. Uh, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop right now. We're going to come back, and we're going to do some practical. We're going to just do it. All right? So I'll be back in one minute. Okay.